I'm Gary George, mate. Well, we spoke through the week about how dangerous it seemed with a bit of a, a free swing can be that uh, you, you sort of had it from the jump and it's probably sloppy at times, but you were pretty much in command of it the, the whole way. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, it, it was an important win. Um, a lot of change um, tonight. That Tyler's such a, uh, an integral part of what we do. Um, so, uh, and then coming off that big emotional win um, in Melbourne, um, just just been a bit of a roller coaster ride over the last month, and just identify this for a number of reasons um, to be a really dangerous game. And you know, as you're saying there, it wasn't perfect, but um, it was definitely um, one we were uh, the staff. I know the team. There was concerns coming in here tonight. Our, our matchups against them are difficult. Um, Franks and uh, Lamar are versatile. Dang Dang's versatile. They don't play with a true post player. And that's, you know, the Vic Laws of this world. Um, you know, uh, have, the guys like have caused us difficulties. So um, we were concerned coming in. But um, bottom line is really pleased with the win and uh, five games to go. What was the issue with Tyler Gorge? Is, he, is it just a niggle? Is he going to be right for Melbourne? Or what's, what's the, uh, the thing in there? Uh, he, he, he did something. Not, it's not serious, serious, but he, he uh, had a slip and a fall in practice. And it's a knee situation. And it was one of those ones where you give him a fitness test tonight. Um, and uh, the evaluation was, you know, his call at the end, and he, he just didn't feel comfortable with it. And, uh, you know, we'll do the same thing. Uh, we don't know what's, what's going to transpire over the next 48 hours. So the next game's questionable, but um, it's not long term, and he will be back um, before, the, uh, b before we, you know, get too deep into these last five games. Were you, as a silver lining, interested to see how your team went without him? You've been such a focal point for the best part of two seasons now. Obviously, the guys think next year got some time and that sort of thing. Was there a, were you interested to see how the team would function without him there? Yeah, I, I just, I don't, last year, I, I just, we, we don't win without Tyler. And that's been the build and what we've talked about coming into the second year of more depth and more coverage. And, uh, I mean, a, a big thing, there's been a lot of uh, things that have transpired over the course of the year, and the guy sitting next to me is a very talented young man, and we've had the opportunity this year to add a fourth import to our team, which is a point guard, which has put him down a rung, and um, he hasn't had any opportunity during the course of the year, but, you know, you say to him, be ready. Um, you're, you're, you're one guy away, you're, you're one position away. And uh, it's easy to say that, and it's, it's a long season. I think back to bull-eye running on the beach, push-ups, sit-ups, weight room, two-hour practice sessions. He's been an absolute pro, and um, his opportunity arrived tonight, and if he's not ready, we don't win tonight. If we don't win tonight, um, our chances of making the four are really diminished. So um, I think tonight, with what Emmett's done, really gives our whole team a lift. And um, he, again, is an important piece to this. Emmett, what was it like to get out there, mate? And um, what George just spoke about there, about um, probably being tough over the state, ready to train, practice, and not get a lot of time, but um, still be ready when, you, when your name is called? Yeah, uh, it felt great to be out there. Um, I was a bit gassed, to be honest. Uh, just the game's a little different to practice. No matter what you do, no matter how much fitness you do, it's just a bit more intense and a bit different out there. But um, yeah, I've, I felt like I've been staying pretty ready. Um, obviously, we have such a talented team, so I get to uh, go against them in practice, um, which has helped. I feel like I've still been able to work on my game despite maybe not getting the minutes in the game time. I think I've been able to work in practice um, and stay ready for the opportunity. Just last one for me, George. You missing the Melbourne trip seemed to work pretty well last time. Any consideration to uh, watching it from the lounge room again and 
take that wrong line, or are you definitely going to be on the plane? We're having a few discussions about that. It might not be a bad idea, you know, sit on the couch, have a couple beers. The last time I couldn't because it was an afternoon game, and I don't drink in the afternoon, but, you know, 5.30. Um, yeah, just, just having a having – a, Jake did a, an amazing job. But uh, um, I'm sure at the end of the day, a deep breath, and I'll be on that bus tomorrow. I'm really excited about uh, – um, the opportunity that lies ahead for us down this road. You know, Sydney a couple times, Perth, um, we're by no means in the four. And, uh, but if you paint this picture um, two months ago when we came out of this and you looked at what was ahead, um, everyone had written us off of no chance of being a four team. And now we're five games out and um, it's exciting. You know, the, all these games matter, and we're playing the best of the best. And uh, Melbourne's going to – they've had one week to sit there and um, get prepared for this next uh, hit. So um, the challenge is there, and uh, I'm excited this time to be on the sideline. Well, it's just following up from that, welcome back to first of all. How, how tough was it for you guys to get that down on, on Sunday? You know, I, I got, it, it was it was tough, but you know, um, I, I gotta say, I, I've got tremendous, you know, and it's, it, it's funny how this, I've always felt like when I'm coaching, it's co-coaches. And so I, I was totally comfortable um, with um, Jacob running the, the team. And uh, he's, um, and the team, totally knows his competence and what he does. And it's all these wins prior. I mean, I've been with Jacob since he was in his 20s, early 20s. We've gone to China together. Um, he doesn't need me. He, on game night, he can win. It's just the day-to-day -day over um, the long haul of the year. Um, it's, it's a team effort. You know, it's two guys together. So, you know, I definitely felt very much a part of that win. And I certainly know that tonight and any other night that I'm the head coach, he feels a huge part of the win. So um, it was more about um, the team and the challenge of the team and where the team's been. And that was kind of a pinnacle of, you know, we got Phoenix a couple times, we got Tasmania and Tasmania, they've won seven out of eight. That was a huge win on their court. We've done some good stuff. Well, where do we go from here? And uh, that win kind of opened the door on, you know, this season could be anything. You could, you know, miss out on the four or you could be a champion. And um, that game um, did that for us. We haven't mentioned JJ's game either yet. And he, was, he was incredible tonight, but it wasn't just these 29 points. I mean, he, he grabbed some rebounds, he blocked some shots, and, and showed just how far his all round game has come this year as well. Two years with us, you know, and a, and a young guy coming in this, a next star coming into this, and, and last year, kind of down this part of the year, he kind of faded um, with frustration, the physicality of how he was being defended, and um, where to go to to be effective. And this year, I just think the depth, the more offensive talent around him and um, a year in this thing, I think it takes that. Um, I, I look at Duop, you know, it, it, it takes a year of understanding this thing. So um, now seeing him in this second year and what he's trying to do with his career and feel, I feel like when you put a bow on the end of the two years here, it's been really, really good for him, like it has been for Giddy, like it has been for, you know, Ball, guys like that, um, this league has been tremendous for. And um, he needed that second year. And now um, he's been very effective in numerous ways other than scoring the ball. But tonight it was beautiful, the fact that Tyler wasn't there and he went where he went. And the exciting part to me was that he got 17 shots up. And you know, just on you looking at just Saturday's game, I'm assuming that you'll get a, get a good run again if Tyler doesn't play. Um, it's a good test against Melbourne because that backcourt, they'll be throwing 
throwing shy and dally and probably Butler at you as well, which will be a, be a good test. Yeah, uh, they've got a pretty pretty impressive defensive backcourt there. Um, but, you know, we're not going to back down from anyone. I think uh, we back our talent. Um, they're going to get after us, but we're going to get after them too. And, again, we've got versatile players. We've got guys like AC who can bring it down to relieve some pressure. Um, so that really helps us. And But, yeah, if, if Tyler's out, we'll be ready to go. And it's just sort of next man up mentality. Any other questions? Thanks, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, man. Thanks, guys.